hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel welcome to another video thank you so much for being here welcome to a week of plant care there's so many different varieties of plants in this video just really trying to prepare my plants for spring and summer so they can grow their best and live their best lives i don't want to waste any time so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right on in to this video this is my Monstera laniata. Laniata. It's in the Adansoni family. It does get fenestrations as it matures, but it's in this itty bitty little planter. I'm going to show you guys. So I ordered these adorable little trellises from Amazon. They were really inexpensive. And there's four in here. So there's two heart shaped. And then there's two circular. I'll try to link these in the description if anyone's interested because they are really inexpensive. But it did give you the option to purchase only the circular ones. And I think you could have got like four or six of them. I'm not 100% sure. They also come with these little ties to tie the plants on. But I'll probably use my Velcro tape. This trellis is definitely not going to fit in this pot. So we're going to up this guy to uh, this ceramic planter. That way we can insert a trellis. So let's go ahead and open our trellises. I think I'm going to do a heart for this guy because, I mean, the hearts are just so precious. Like, go ahead and pull him out. Knock off the excess. Boop, boop, boop. Nice, healthy little root system. I haven't added any worm castings to my soil in a few months, so it's definitely time. <laughs> to potting shall we we take our trellis and stick it on in first of all let's add a little scoop Oh my gosh are you kidding me i think it looks very nice in this pot as well but i am definitely going to be purchasing more of these little trellises trellis is trellis i'm gonna be purchasing more of these okay because i'm obsessed and they're inexpensive so it's a win-win gosh you guys how cute is this i am in love this trellis was made for this plant quickly I wanted to shout out my friend Martha's Etsy shop she is super duper talented y'all and I've been wanting to place an order with her for quite a while now and so I finally did uh, and I thought y'all might appreciate this little unboxing so I wanted to share so she sent me that tea there for free first of all can we talk about her packaging the packaging is exquisite I mean the love and care and time that she puts into packaging these things seriously couldn't be any better Look how precious. So these are little crystal handmade tea stirring spoons. They're adorable. Um, I love crystals. If you've been here a while, you probably know that. Any type of stone uh, or jewel I'm really obsessed with. And she makes all kinds of stuff. You guys really have to check out her Etsy shop because anything you could think of, she makes it. Um, so this one is opal. And then the other two that I got are rose quartz and they're just so precious they were i think around 12 dollars a piece so i'll have her shop link down below it would mean a lot to me if y'all go and check her out so please do so uh getting in a little workout for the day i thought i'd share it with you guys i started jump roping about six or seven weeks ago 
and well maybe two months ago at this point I bought this jump rope that tells me how many calories I'm burning and it counts the jumps for me because I initially started with a rope that did not do that, just a basic $5 target rope and counting the jumps, uh, my mind just could not keep up. So really glad that I went ahead and purchased this one on Amazon. It makes it a lot easier. It makes me actually want to do it and stick around because I actually hit a really, really big goal this day and I wanted to share it with you guys. Hi guys okay it is a few days later and honestly I don't even know what all footage that I have right now because something happened and a bunch of my footage for this video was corrupted after I put it in the editing app so I don't really know what happened regardless it's okay because we have lots more chores to do I have several things that need up potted I showed you guys earlier in the video some trellises I don't know how the proper way to say that plural but uh, I want to add the rest of them that I got to a couple more plants I'm just gonna do some rando stuff I actually got a new ring light as well so I'm really hoping that that helps with the quality of my content let's just go ahead and get into it Let me show you guys this guy I don't think I've showed this plant in years honestly so we're gonna give him some attention, some TLC today this is my Hoya pubicalyx and look oh no Honestly, y'all, I don't think I've ever upped this plant in the years that I've had it. There's a little ball over there. My kids' toys are everywhere. Always everywhere. And I noticed this past year that it kind of stopped growing. So, and normally this is a really good growing plant. It's a really good growing Hoya. And you can see the splashing on the leaves. I love it so much. This is just such a beautiful Hoya. So the fact that it's not really growing tells me everything I need to know. Obviously, it needs up potted, right? And we may or may not be placing one of our new trellises in the sky as well. So I'm going to go find a pot for him and we're going to get busy. I need to take you guys into my tent for a second because I actually have a couple things in there that we need to work on as well. So let's go take a peek in there and see what needs done. Okay, we have this variegated gigantium from Aeroid Market. It arrived healthy, but I did have to uh, put it in moss to get some more roots on it. Um, it's doing really well. It's been growing really well, but I noticed this last newest leaf was a little bit stunted in comparison and the jar is just completely full of roots. So we're going to get them out of here, get them potted up in some soil. I'm really proud of this plant though. I love it so much. So this is the first one we're going to grab. We also have my gorgeous Anthurium forgetii here who has been in this moss for just way too long. Uh, and so look at it. It has little critters in it munching on the de decaying bits uh, of the moss so he desperately needs to come out of here as well as my little painted lady that we had an incident last year where I rotted her roots and had to reroot her so she's growing really really well but she is currently living in a teeny tiny little glass baby food jar the roots literally have nowhere else to go so we're going to attempt to get her out of here as well and get her potted up but look how beautiful she is oh my goodness the leaves are just in incredible we have this oh gosh oh gosh oh gosh cryptanthus that is in dire desperate need of an up potting so we're gonna do that i got a new ring light next is going to be a microphone because let me just show you yeah so this is what i'm working with but let's let's just go for it lighting is beautiful like i love the sunshine hello how are you 
So we're also going to be mixing in some Osmocote fertilizer beads to the soil. I'm a little bit nervous removing the plants from that were taken out of moss uh, because sometimes it's just difficult to get the moss off the root ball and I end up having some issues when I transfer them to soil if I leave moss on the root ball. So we're just going to see. I guess let's do what's easiest first. Uh, and what's going to be the easiest thing to, is to just pull this out because literally this little crypt cryptanthus, oh my gosh, the baby is broke off. Baby just fell off. This little cryptanthus literally just pulls right on up out like that. So let me see what I want to place him in. It's not big enough. Oh, he actually does have some babies coming in again. I rem He had a bunch of them and I removed them. Eight. I don't really want to put it in this, but I also don't feel like I really have much of a choice. So we're just going to do it. I squeeze a little bit of lemon juice down in it. Refreshing. I don't really like this mix that I'm using for this guy, but it's what I have. So we're going to roll with it. We feel so underprepared, honestly. coming off everywhere and it's stressing me out I really didn't want any more of the little babes to come off the mama but it is what it is okay we're gonna try to get the moss off of my giganteum I have this little bowl here that I use to put old soil compost basically I don't know that I'm gonna be able to get this moss off though and that's kind of like the problem that I have with using moss so frequently for rooting plants they're always so happy in it especially philodendron when the time comes to move them over i don't know it can be a bit of a shock for them also i think and i hate to just put the the moss ball straight down into soil because you know i don't want anything i don't want any rot to happen but honestly instead of mutilating this root ball what i think i might do to kind of get this plant to adjust to the new medium to soil i think i might try something different but i think i'm going to put this in a mix that also has some sphagnum moss mix throughout it so it, um it's very very airy but it also has moss so maybe i don't know we're just going to try it because i really don't know what else to do this is cute pretty cute pretty cute i'm gonna go with this one just so i can keep an eye on the roots i'm just i'm too nervous doing this with the moss, leaving the moss on the root ball to not be able to keep a close eye on the roots, you know? Okay guys, is that any better? I don't really know. Look over my rolls, okay? We're working on that. Okay, there he is. Hopefully I shouldn't have to up pot this guy for a good while now. Love you, buddy. All right, let's go ahead, I think, and tackle this Hoya Pupacalyx. He has been a trooper, honestly. He's been in desperate need probably since this time last year for a, a repot, an up pot, some fresh soil, and just some love, you know, some love and attention. I need love and affection. I appreciate him being patient with me and not just like dying out on me. Maybe we'll let this guy trail. I don't know. He looks really nice trailing. The only reason I even placed him on that trellis is like he had those these big long tendrils just going all over the place. Um because he's such a good grower. Okay, look how bright that pot is. It's pretty cute, and now I can use this for something else, which is always exciting. You know what I mean? All right, so the pot that I was thinking for this pubicalyx, I was thinking this one, that root ball, yeah, that looks nice. That looks about right, because I don't want to up him too much, because Hoya's kind of, they don't really mind being a little bit snug in their pots, I don't think. So I think that's what we're going to do, and I actually really like the way that that looks, so let's do that.
Yeah, this is a really nice fit, actually. That looks so good, you guys. I love it. Hopefully this will encourage him to take off growing. And you know what I forgot to do, y'all? I'm an idiot, I swear to goodness. I forgot to put the Osmo coat in. Oh, why do I do this to myself? So I'm just gonna sprinkle some on top of the soil, actually. I'm gonna put some in my pre-made soil for the future, for the other plants. All right, let's just stick this bad boy down in here and just, just see, let's just see, okay? Oh, that actually I think is gonna look nice. Maybe I will leave a vine or two off of the trellis and just see what it does, but let's try it. These uh, trellises are just so cute. He poked me. Poked me right in the face. Well, I'm gonna kind of freely attach that. Let me see here, buddy. This piece is so heavy because it has that cluster of leaves. Chillsies, you're being wild, boy. I'm a wild boy. Love the way that turned out. Okay, look at you. New pot, new soil, new trellis. He's feeling himself, okay. All right, on to the next. Whenever I got this new ring light, I also picked up a small, tiny one um, for vlogs, just so for like up close footage, you know, and it has a little mini light and it's actually so cute and it, it works pretty good, but I don't feel like it's really high enough off the ground. So I'm going to put y'all back up in this other tripod. Y'all are going to have to work with me in the next couple of videos until I get this new ring light situated, situation figured out and, uh, you know, I experiment with it and stuff a little bit, but. Now we're working with no microphone, so I'm really sorry if the audio's shit, but let's get this beautiful lady out of this little baby food jar. I actually utilize pretty much everything that I can. I use so many different things for propagation, and yeah, and yeah, and yeah. All right, I'm not gonna make you guys set through this. I'm gonna go ahead and pick out as much moss as I can. We got her out. I was actually quite surprised. It was a lot easier than it could have been. I brought a bottle of water in here with me because I figured I might need it because sometimes it is easier to remove the moss from the root ball if you soak it in water. We got her. So here's her cute little root system. I also wanted to show you guys this, like look at her insane. So this is my Dyskidia ovata. I topped off her little pot. It's not really a pot, it's a little plastic cup, but I topped it off because it was only about halfway filled up with soil. I don't know what happened exactly. But it needed more soil for sure. I was thinking about putting this in an actual pot, like upping it, but Honestly, like it's doing so well. I really just don't want to mess with it right now. I probably will sometime this spring. Whenever I got this, you guys, it was not trailing at all. It didn't have any trailing pieces. I think there was like two vines, one or two vines, and they were just kind of coiled on top of the soil here. They were not trailing or cascading over whatsoever. And look at this. Isn't that incredible? I love this plant so much. It's the watermelon Dyskidia, and oh my gosh, I just love it. The leaves um, are a little bit sun-stressed, beautiful. So I just wanted to show you guys this really quickly because I'm obsessed with this plant. Okay, here is our painted lady. We're a little bit oversaturated, aren't we? It's okay. This is her newest leaf here, and she is currently unfurling a new one right here. So that's good. And I'm gonna set this nursery pot down in this cute little ceramic planter, way oversaturated, my goodness. It just has little hearts all the way around it, you guys. It's very cute. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she lovely? What else do we have to do? I do have that Inferium forgetii that really needs to be taken out of that disgusting moss. Like It has bugs and everything in it, you guys. I sprayed some alcohol on top of the moss uh, last week because it was so disgusting. It's growing really well and it's it's blooming. Apparently the plant likes the algified 
icky moss um, and the bugs that's in the moss is just like it I, I get them anytime I leave moss setting too long and it starts to turn green and get algae on it because I guess the the moss is just breaking down and there's stuff in it apparently that those little bugs like to munch on so it doesn't harm the plant at all but you know it needs to come out of there so I really wish I had some gloves other than my hair dyeing gloves to use for that I really just don't want to touch that moss with my bare hands um, so let me just take a peek at it and see if we're going to do that today because I'm not 100% sure just yet. So the little ugly bugs are back, of freaking course. They're back, crawling around everywhere. I have to get it out of here because, I don't know, I'm afraid something is going on with the roots. Like a couple of them don't look super good, but this is my forgetty eye. This is the newest leaf here. And another thing, like it's drying out way, way, way too fast. I mean, it's not, I water it and it's just kind of staying like a brick, basically. So I really have to get it out of here, guys. We're going to go ahead and do it. And I have on these crazy looking gloves. These are my hair dye gloves. I need to get some new ones anyway, so it's totally fine. I'm just going to wear these to pick that off. But I am also going to pull my hair back for this because I don't want any icky bugs in my hair. That's not, that's not cool. We're not down for that. Okay, here we go. Let's get to it. Ew. Okay, I am going to go ahead because I just don't like critters, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and spray a little bit of alcohol on top to go ahead and annihilate, murder those little bugs. And of course, it's basically empty that's not really gonna do anything because they're down inside as well I'm sure but let's just get him out of here like look at that moss you guys that is so foul disgusting oh my goodness but look at that wow beautiful root ball look how gorgeous this root ball is you guys oh my gosh no wonder it wasn't getting watered. Okay, this is gonna be fun. It looks like the rest of the moss is fine. It's just that top portion that's disgusting. I think I'm gonna take some peroxide though because look at those aerial roots there. They're all green and gross from that moss. So I think I'm gonna try and like, like disinfect it with some peroxide. I'll be right back. I'm gonna disinfect this gunk first. Oh my gosh, finally. I did it those roots it's a little bit less difficult removing sphagnum moss from anthurium roots I think because they're just so much more thick the, the roots are really tuberous you know so it wasn't too bad but all right let's get to it I have such a mess but where I've been repotting so many things lately I just I really needed to not just add a little of this and that I needed to go ahead and just mix up everything that I had so that's what I did I just mixed up the rest of my pumice and uh, coconut core soil and I went ahead and added the Osmocote fertilizer beads uh, added some of that into this. This is my current mix. Very very chunky and well draining. Now that this is done I shouldn't have to mix up any more soil for a good while. So let's go ahead and pot up this beautiful Anthurium Forgidii. He has a heck of a root system. Um, a little bit too much. Okay here we go. I should be good, right? Hopefully he's happy in here and doesn't freak out on me. That was easy enough, so... Oh, we have a root sticking out here already. Are you kidding me? All right. Wish him well, y'all. Hopefully he does good. All right, so I think we are done for the day. It's getting dark outside. I have to go make some dinner. I am starving to death. Um, all right, I don't know if I'm gonna end this vlog here or what, but if not, then I'll see you in the next clip. Present. I got a present from mom. What? It's 
this is my favorite. Huh? That's my favorite mom's present. Your favorite mom's present? Yeah. Let someone know what it is. What is it? Easy. Oh. Oh. It's a heck? Mm. That's a good one, Daddy. <gasps> yeah, let me see that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look how plump they are. Hello, what's up? How you doing? So I have a couple of pre cool plants to share with you guys that my husband actually surprised me with. So there's a plant nursery just a few miles from his job site in Ohio and he decided to go in today and FaceTime me and I was so excited. So anyways, he got me a couple plants and brought them home to me. And so we are actually going to go ahead and pot one of them up. So we have a pink princess philodendron and a string of dolphins, which is very new to this channel as well as my collection because I have never owned a string of dolphins. And I love the string of plants. I love the string of bananas and the pearls, but I've just never gotten my hands on the string of dolphins before. So uh, I was really excited to see these there. I was like, yes, I definitely want a dolphin. As you can see, this one, he's like, there's dirt everywhere and I don't really know what's going on. When he unboxed them, because they put them in this box and they wrapped them to protect them from the cold because it's a little bit cold out today. So, but you can see that like, some of the roots are uprooted, basically. Parts of the plant are have been uprooted. There's really no fixing it unless we just remove it from the pot completely and repot the plant. So that's what we're gonna do. This was $5.99. I'm planning a trip to, because it's only four hours from my house, go up and spend a weekend, one weekend when Jay is working, and I'm gonna go film at this nursery as well as some others because there's several different little plant nurseries around there with apparently rare plants and guys these were only $49.99 $50 and they had like probably a couple hundred of them they just got a shipment I'm really excited I think I'm gonna leave this one be because it's perfectly fine there's actually a root growing out the bottom of that one okay maybe she's been in here a while I'm gonna leave this one be regardless for now but this one I think it's pretty obvious it needs to be repotted okay I was way oversaturated. I had to adjust it. Yeah, I'm still figuring out this ring light, so bear with me. It's bright. Very, very bright. I mean, I'm not gonna be talking in this part. I'm just gonna be potting. So if y'all wanna be in here, yeah, you can. Huh? Yeah, 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 I'm done with the talking portion, yeah. I'm just repotting now. Did you take some medicine? Okay, how cute is this pot, you guys? I uh, got this at Lowe's, and I really want to use it. And then we have this one, and this cute yellow one actually just was freed up in a previous clip, I believe. I don't know how shallow the dolphin's roots are or aren't. Oh gosh, see this piece is just like, oh, uh, they need needed saving anyway. So let's let's see here. Okay, decent little root system. Okay, they're not shallow at all. So, I don't really think that's big enough. So I think we might actually get to use this planter. I think that's perfect, sweet. Look how nice that looks, you guys. Oh my goodness. What? I'm so happy to have this plant. Oh my gosh. I'm stoked over these dolphins. I love it so much more than I even knew I would. And it's so cool because I guess they are juvenile, yet they're the largest. But look how chunky those are before they turn into dolphins. Like, look, it's so thick. I am obsessed obsessed with this thank you husband this video is long enough so just want to say thank you for watching give me a thumbs up if you liked it thumbs down if you didn't make sure you're subscribed ring the notification bell if you wanna and i will see you again very soon in my next video 